Hi, this is David Abbott of the Buffalo State College Physics Department. Um, this is the second in a series of videos made for the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra on the physics of sound. What we're going to be looking at in this video is the difference between loud and soft sounds. In video one, you saw the difference between a pitched sound and a unpitched sound. We're going to be focusing on in on pitched sounds. I have the chime again, and I'm going to show you what the graph of a loud chime hit would look like. Okay, so we have a snapshot of a loud sound. What we're going to do now is we're going to hit the chime again. We're going to keep the same note, make it a fair fight. Right, same note, so any differences that we see on the graph, we know are due to loudness and not something else. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the chime and wait a while for the sound to get soft and take a snapshot of that and compare. How do you think the two sounds will look different? Take a moment to think about how you think the graphs will look different. Okay, so let's get our snapshot of the soft sound. On the graph, you can see what the difference is. The two are superimposed. Let's take a look at the similarities first. You'll notice that the horizontal spacing between peaks is the same for both the loud sound and the soft sound. And that's just because it's the same note, it's the same chime. If you look at the heights, the heights are much different, right? The, the soft sound has a smaller height than the loud sound. Not a big surprise there. Um, uh, definition for a technical word here. The distance from the center to the top of the wave is called the amplitude. The bigger the amplitude, the louder the sound. Let's take a look at the FFT now. You'll notice on this lower graph that it's basically the same deal. The louder sound is taller. Here it's just a taller peak rather than a taller waveform. And you'll notice the similarity, too. Both of the peaks are at the same horizontal position. That's because it was the same note both times. At this point, I hope you understand the difference between loud and soft and how they show up on the time clock and on the frequency clock. 